Cloud Solutions Group worked with Diawara to create a timesheet and leave app that was customised to suit their specific business and award requirements. Derawara Community and Education Services are a not-for-profit organisation that deliver education, training, employment and youth programs. All full-time, part-time and casual employees, many of whom are teachers, are required to complete their fortnightly timesheets. The app replaced their Excel spreadsheet and email approval process. So let's show you how it works. Here you can see timesheets pending submission and you can also view any submitted timesheets. Now the user can see the full fortnight on the screen. The app copies the previous timesheet data, which saves the user time. Only have to update for this, any specific differences. Leave balances are shown across the top. The app links into the payroll system. In Dear Warrior's case, my of Green Tree, so leave balances are kept up to date. The Timesheet app will pre-populate your timesheet with any leave requests submitted. The app will highlight leave entries as yellow if submitted and green if approved. Any public holidays will be pre-populated as blue. Now I want to change the times for Monday, so I click on the day and here is the day view. You edit your start time and finish time by clicking on the arrow and selecting the appropriate time. You can enter the break time in minutes and if you have driven in any kilometres, you can enter the kilometres travelled as well. The app has automatically calculated the total hours for the day. Once you have entered times worked for each day of the fortnight, the app will automatically total up hours worked, total leave hours and total kilometres travelled. Dees have a flexible time in lieu policy. The app will work out any time in lieu adjustment depending on the total time you worked over the fortnight. This could be a positive amount that would add to your time in lieu balance or a negative amount that would take away from your time in lieu balance. The app sets limits to ensure compliance and keeps a running balance of time in lieu. If you need to include weekends, click the show weekends to on and you can edit those days if required. Once you are happy with your entries, press submit to send your timesheet to your manager to review and approve. There are four employee types in the app, full-time, part-time, casual and sessional. A sessional teacher is paid at different rates depending on the work performed. The app has been customised to allow sessional employees to choose the work type applicable and then enter the specific hours for each day. If you are an approver, you will receive an email asking you to approve a timesheet. You can click on the link in the email or use the app. Click here and there will be a list of timesheets requiring your approval. You can review each timesheet and either approve or reject. If reject, you will need to enter a reason. If there are unapproved leave requests included in the timesheet period, the app will allow you to approve as part of the timesheet approval. So let me show you now how the Leave app works. Let's create a leave request. You can choose your leave type from the options on the drop down. Going to choose annual leave, going to choose a date range and then I add you can have up to three leave items per leave request as long as the dates are concurrent. So I will apply for leave there and that is for the full week. The leave balances are shown below. If the entitlement um, is not high enough to uh, accept the days that the person is submitting, then the request will not be able to proceed. The Leave app allows for a document to be uploaded or a photo taken. I'll show you how that works. You can attach a file here. And I can, using the app on my phone, I can take a photo of my medical certificate and upload.
employed that with my submission. The approval process works very similar to the Timesheet app. We can view approvals in the app or you can click on the link on the email notification that you were sent. So now you can see all the pending requests. So let's have a look at this one. And here I can approve, renegotiate or reject. If I renegotiate or reject, I need to put a comment in or I can just approve. I can see the leave balances, I can see what days and we can approve. Another good feature of the app is the calendar view. So if I'm manager, I can click on my calendar at the top and now I have a calendar view of submitted requests being yellow and approved leave requests being green. So I can easily see, click on different days and see who, which employee has su submitted a request and which employee has an approved request. So if um, an employee applies for annual leave in the same week that someone else has already had an approval, you can easily see that as a manager and make the correct adjustment on the request. There are a number of reports available to the administrator. There's the outstanding timesheet report, a leave report, a leave balance report, and a timesheet summary report. There is also the employee report section, which is where you maintain employee details, such as their employee type, their manager, a standard work week, and date ceased. So this helps you keep the app up to date. If you would like to talk to us about customising a timesheet and leave app that suits your business requirements, please contact Josh Rubens on 0403 342 613.